Good evening. I'm Ron Burgundy. Just kidding, guys. It is Tony from Downtime TV, and today we are participating in the Anchorman Charity Challenge, which is a great challenge for a great cause, honoring the life of Jovita Moore, a former news anchor from Georgia at a local news station who tragically passed away from a tough battle with brain cancer. So Barry and Jason Games and Entertainment created this game and this challenge to honor her life. Essentially, this challenge is calling all professional news anchors, which is apparently a category we fall under, uh, to play this game, which will be tasked with reading funny news stories that we obviously don't know what they are uh, before we do read them, and read them perfectly without cracking up or laughing or anything like that. Um, so this is the board game they created. Um, when you open the box, this is pretty much going to be everything you see here. Uh, you have these several different types of magnets, all color-coded, everything. Essentially, what you have for your news stories, these are the words that they want you to kind of plop into the, to the uh, open news stories. You have your verbs, your nouns, and your plural nouns, which each news story will tell you which ones go where. Um, you have your Sex Panther Cologne Timer, which is a great piece from the movie. Uh, all these magnets are your tokens. Um, when an anchor successfully gets through a new story, he'll be getting a token. And of course, at the end of the game, when you guys decide you're done, the anchor with the most tokens will be the winner. And then you have these papers right here that are the new stories. And you see these kind of um, open spaces here. It tells you noun, plural noun, and whatever the new story kind of calls for. So um, today, uh, what we had um, due to my lack of friends, we had Michael um, already place eight different new stories um, obviously without me knowing uh, what each new story is going to be. I'm going to read through each one, hopefully without breaking a sweat or cracking a smile. Uh, the directions do state that it's amongst you and your friends as to what exactly breaking means, whether it's just kind of getting through the story without stumbling, without laughing, without uncontrollably laughing. So today I'm going to kind of uh, take it upon myself to say I'm going to have to get through each story without any chuckling and without stumbling. No chuckling, no stumbling. So let's go through number one here. Again, I haven't seen these. Just going through them as is right now. Here we go. Mother of the dog will be here after the break to show us a few butts. He'll be dubstepping and traumatizing, and if we're lucky, maybe even butt flapping a barf bag. One down. Seven more to go. Warm up a little bit, you know? Unique New York. Ow now, brown cow. Santa Claus is coming to town. Bring out your moms and decorate the coffin because Santa is here to spread elderly farts to all the good little boobies and unwearable underpants. That was a pretty good one, Michael. I, I, I don't, I don't Still warming up. Ow now, brown cow. There's a new restaurant in town. Chef Katie O'Gara is a master of soggy sweatpants and sloppy mommies and will be imagineering meat platter casseroles all weekend for the grand opening. So you better get your butt over there. Let's do number four, baby. How now, Brown? Unique New York. The Human Torch was denied a bank loan. Champion golfer Tom O'Gara will be moistening into town this week for the Resting Milk Fakes Classic. He'll be handing out farting llamas at the country club and running a werewolf contest all weekend. So you gotta bet your butt out there, man. Okay, let's not destroy the beautiful tray they supplied us here. All right, number five now. Let's go halfway through, Michael. I think I have four for four so far. The British are privately viewing at least that's what the new UK experience at the mall is burping. It will feature Abraham Lincoln's underpants and ugly folks and a grandma specifically for the toads. Wow. At the mall, dude? Of all places? Hey, demon baby lovers. The post office just revealed their newest stamps featuring big dumb fat fatties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I lost this one. <laughs> oh, the big dumb fat fatties. Child sized cigars and a medicated sweatsuit swooping fun bags. <laughs> 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 
Big, uh, big dumb fat fatties. <laughs> that was the one, dude. That's how you get them. With the big dumb fat fatties. Let me tell you about this tray. Each uh, kind of word here is magnetized, right? So you can just kind of plop the new story on it. And bang. These things just stick right on there. The big dumb fat fatties. Sticking right on the tray. All right, dude. Two more to go. Hopefully they're good, Michael. The big dumb fat fatties. Have you ever wanted to be a bird's butthole? <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh no, dude, it's worse. Well, now you can. <laughs> oh, God, dude. All right. So, uh, have you ever wanted to be a bird's butthole? Well, now you can. The Butt Trumpet Center downtown just opened up a new experience that lets you practice smothering manly girdles just like a real German pornography. That's <laughs> what it says, dude. German pornography. <sighs> Once you start laughing, dude, it's hard to stop. <laughs> you want to be a bird's butthole? <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Oh, this is a good one here. It's February and Valentine's Day is next week, so you know what that means. It's time to buy some pork wings for your tortilla diaper. As long as you're not inappropriately sniffing to the last bowel movement, you should be fine. It no, it didn't, dude. <sighs> wow. That was quite the ride there. Uh, I said I went six for eight, pretty decent. Um, obviously, as you guys can tell, um, you know, the, the magnets, the words they make you kind of put in there are quite ridiculous. I mean, that's the whole point of the improper teleprompter. Um, it's clearly a great game to play with friends or even just alone, honestly, at this point. Um, you know, have a couple of friends, a couple of drinks, play this game. It's going to be a great time. Uh, again, it's, it's, it's a great game for a great cause. Um, which, with each video submitted, um, Barry and Jason Games Entertainment are going to be donating $50 to the, brain t the National Brain Tumor Society. Um, so obviously you know, they're going to be donating a lot of money to research and, and making sure nothing as tragic as this kind of happens again. And this is a great time. Um, I was happy to be a part of this challenge. It's hilarious. So that will pretty much do it here for Tony from Downtime TV. Thanks, guys. Enjoy it. Hey guys, Tony here from Downtime TV checking in. I want to thank all our fans out there who's been liking, subscribing, sharing our content. You guys are the best. You guys are our bloodline. You make us love what we do. Thanks again.